showing you guys everything. I just, oh, <laughs> okay. Again, it's got the little um, metal wreath. Again, it's got the little metal, why can't I see that? All right, then I picked up a um, quite a few of the um, Mako, Mako. <laughs> Welcome back to Bren's Beauty Boutique. I'm Bren, of course, and I'm so happy to have you guys here today for this video. And I'm sharing with you guys everything I found at Dollar Tree in the last few weeks. Lots of fall goodies, just a lot of craft supplies. They have a new, a huge new craft section. I'm going to go ahead and um, I did a little filming when I was in the store, and I'm going to try to uh, put those up here somewhere for you guys to see what I'm talking about. Just a massive haul, so let's go ahead and get started, my friends. Here we go. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start with the florals that I picked up. Picked up a couple of the cotton stems. I think I picked up about 10 or 12 of these because I saw them and I knew that right away I had to grab them because you guys know these are um, these can be hard to find because once they come into store, they are sold out almost immediately. Um, there was, I think, four boxes at my store. I bought, like I said, 10 to 12 of them. Went back the next day to get a few more and they were gone. So uh, I also used these in my Christmas decor, as you guys probably saw in my in last year's uh, Christmas home tour. So I use a lot of these. Picked up quite a few and really excited to have found them. Then I found these, which I thought were so, so cute. Some of the stuff can look kind of cheap looking. I thought these looked really nice. All right, this first bundle is just... A lot of what I consider to be kind of fillers, kind of a burnt orange hydrangea. I adore these. I use these a lot and picked these up. These are a little bit brighter orange, but they're just so realistic looking. They're really nice, long picks. Picked these up. I mean, they're just really nice. I mean, you get four, let's see, no, five, five flowers, five blooms on here, you guys. On this one pick for a dollar that's just unbelievable I yeah that's unbelievable to me then these I actually do use these in my decor quite a bit because I like these as fillers and they're great for wreaths too picked up these for fillers as well again the long stems two of these I picked up what I could find of the berries I got some of the darker berries with the green and then I got some of the orange and red berries as well. I know that a lot of these things, especially the more realistic looking picks and florals, they go really quickly. So that's this is a great deal for a dollar. I was at Michael's a few days ago as well and looking and you know, their picks, most of the picks didn't really look any better than a lot of these that I picked up at Dollar Tree. So I, I feel pretty fortunate to have found what I did. And then I picked up some of these cattails. These are always a, a fun addition as a filler. Picked up a bunch of the uh, berry fillers. Then I picked up quite a few of the maple bouquet. Uh, these are the maple leaf uh, bushes or, or uh, picks and these have the berries on them. I picked up uh, quite a few different ones. You know some of them have this one has a little squash on it. Um, they all have different uh, different little things on them like squash and pumpkins you know uh, quite a good variety these are a little bit brighter picked up a lot have some oak an oak pick here too with oak leaves on it got another uh, maple this is a darker a little bit of a darker one and then uh, another um, oak leaf as well picked up these um, this wheat you know, I wasn't 100% sure if I'm in love with this, so I just picked up one of these. I do think I'll get some use out of it. From afar, I think it looks really nice. It, you know, it, it, it looks nice, but up close, mm, I don't know, I'm, I'm a little torn. I think once you take away the bright, bright colored leaves, it might be all right to use the grassy part and the wheat part, but uh, we'll see. I'll see if I can incorporate that into something. I didn't want to leave the store without it just in case, you know, there was a use for it and then I was kicking myself during a project saying, man, I wish I would have picked that up. So I just picked up one. So these are more of my, you know, obviously you can see kind of the, that yellowy, um, lighter orange mustardy colors. Um, I, what I do is I go into the store I start grabbing things that catch my eye, things that I feel are are kind of, you know, not cheap looking first and foremost, but um, because of the colors or because they look real nice and realistic, things I know I can use. And then I start creating a bouquet as I grab things. 
so that I know what's going to kind of go together. And that's how I choose my florals like so. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be using all of these together, you guys, but uh, you get the idea of, of what I'm talking about, I'm sure. So we have another one of these fillers in the yellow, yellow, kind of a yellowish orange. And then these are in the, uh, the mustard color. Oh. I really like these, uh, these picks, you guys. These are, these really come in handy. Picked up some of these um, mini flowers with grass. They look like weeds to me, but they're they're a nice addition. And then, uh, of course, uh, grass with feathers. I will take the feathers out. I just wanted the, the grass on those. And then, of course, some more berries. These are more in the mustard color scheme. Last but not least, we have basically a, an entire bucket of <laughs> florals. And these, of course, are my, um, my whites and off-whites and my greens. I found two more long-stemmed florals, you guys. And I just think these are so beautiful. I love them. I can only find two of these and I picked them up right away. I found uh, several more of the hop bush. They're called hop bush, H-O-P uh, bush. I didn't know that. Uh, again, these are, I just love these um, for fillers. I found quite a few of those in that kind of a creamy off-white, brownish white color. And then this gorgeous green. I mean, I wish I could have found more in the green. I think, what did I get? I found three of these, you guys. They're so good. They're so beautiful. And I just think all of these are going to be gorgeous together in a project. Might have to wait till spring. These are more spring colors for me. I might make a spring wreath or something. I found more of the um, hydrangeas, and these are in that bright green. I just love this green, you guys. I think it's just gorgeous. Found a few of these uh, mini flowers with grass, and I really like these. They caught my eye almost immediately, you guys, in the store. They didn't have many. I picked up what they had, and that was three of them in this color. Love them. So this completes the florals, you guys. This is everything I picked up in florals. Moving on, I picked up six of these uh, charger plates. They're kind of a, a coppery gold color. I really like these, and uh, they're actually pretty sturdy. They're not. They're they're a hard plastic. Really like these. Hoping to incorporate those into my um, fall tablescape. I always pick up a few of these because they make amazing um, craft projects. So I, I actually really like these. Uh, I got two of those. I picked up one of these Happy Harvest ones with the red truck because I just think it's adorable. Not sure if I will end up uh, leaving it as it is or if I will do something else with it, but needless to say, I had to have it. So cute. I mean, I just think Dollar Tree's killing it as far as I'm concerned. I also picked up this little, um, it's a, like a chalkboard uh, jar kitchen measurement thing. I just think this is so cute. Just a little plaque, just plain on the back. But, you know, there's a lot you could do with this. You can leave it as is, or you could make it into a project. It's just so cute, you guys. I picked up a couple of the wreath forms. I picked up this um, two of the small ones. These come in a, as a two-pack. Picked up a couple of the larger ones as well. These are 14 inches in diameter. I have a few different ideas for some of these wreath, um, wreath forms, you guys. So I also picked up some of these pumpkin clips in white. I got, I think, six of these. I just grabbed them because I knew that they'd be, you know, pretty much flying off the shelves. They're really cute. They're just a white pumpkin, just a really light kind of styrofoam. They've got the little um, clip on there. I usually um, just pull the clip off like so. I save these clips though for future projects. And then I, I cut this off with just with the scissors and um, use the pumpkins for decor. Works great and they're just a really nice little filler. And then I picked up some of the Spanish moss. Um, they just come in a bag like this. There's not a lot in them, but, you know, there's enough for a project or two in here. And I picked up some natural raffia for fall and Christmas um, projects. And I picked up, I think I picked up six of these um, candle holders, these glass um, dishes, candle holders, and a couple of these smaller candles. I got them in the cream color. I also found a couple of these, um, but I just loved them. And 
I have some really cute ideas in mind for these. I actually have already incorporated the idea in my tablescape plans, so I'm excited to share that with you guys. And then I picked up these two candles as well, as these are also going to be part of my tablescape. These are pumpkin forms, you guys, pumpkin wreath forms. I have some really fun ideas for these for Halloween and for um, for some fall decor. So I'm pretty. I was pretty excited. They're they're huge. I picked up a little uh, scarecrow guy here because I thought he was cute and I'm going to incorporate him in our uh, front porch setting a couple of different places that I could use him just cute you know also found this harvest blessings yard decoration with the red truck and the pumpkins and I just think this is super cute you guys all metal I might just take this piece off and use it in one of my reeds so um, I seriously feel like I hit the Dollar Tree jackpot, you guys. I uh, found these styrofoam pumpkins. I'm always looking for these. Oh, two more picks. These are the glittery orange branches. I thought I could, you know, add a little bit of bling to a couple of the projects. So I picked up two of those. Then I found some of the uh, luminescence scented tea candles. And these smell so good, you guys. I found a spiced pumpkin and warm maple syrup. They smell amazing. All right, I think a lot of you guys have seen these already, but I was tickled to find them at my Dollar Tree, and I have a few ideas. Couldn't come at a better time for um, these eyelashes. I mean, come on. I don't know how they're going to feel on the eyes. I have a feeling they're going to be really heavy. They're huge, but but they're really cool. I'm, I'm super excited to, to try those out. Um, all right, then the craft section what I was speaking of earlier. In our store, it's the section over from the florals. And I'd been looking at the florals and I walked one more aisle over and I was like, I was just astonished at this huge craft section. And I was just grabbing everything because it was, <laughs> I was so excited. I'm a crafter, I'm a scrapbooker, I make um, greeting cards, I do all of these things. And you know, then when, when the nieces come, especially they love playing with all of that stuff, stamping and, and what have you. And so I saw this stuff, I was like, oh my gosh, these would be great to have around for a dollar. I couldn't believe it. I'm gonna show you guys everything I picked up just super excited picked up this little tray you know you can paint these you can leave them just the raw um, the raw wood but they're just so cute you guys and I also picked up the arrow I might use this for the coffee bar for my uh, regular everyday coffee bar we'll see picked up a couple of these plaques couple different si uh, shapes so we entertain a lot, especially during the holidays, and I'm always picking up these little um, like chalkboard uh, tags and uh, with clothespins. I'm always picking these up at like Hobby Lobby or Michaels, a dollar for four, and they're so nice. They're just they're made just just as well as the ones I've picked up in the past. I mean, I'm I'm just I'm in awe. Then I found these little glass containers. These are all glass, and they have the little cork stopper and a couple different sizes. They had several more sizes, but I picked up these two. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them yet, uh, but I'm pretty excited. I picked up just a small uh, detailing scissors. I don't know how well they work, if they're real sharp. They seem to be really sharp. So I will let you guys know when, I'm, when I've been using some of these, um, these things. I'll let you know how well they work. I picked up the cross. I'm gonna have a couple of ideas for that. So I'm gonna try that out, see what I can make of this. I thought it was really pretty. It's just, it's so simple. I love it. My whole family, we all went to this painting class, you know, that they have, um, like palette pleasers or something, where you do a painting class and we all did a painting and she was painting a cross. And um, my cross was kind of like the odd man out. I, I painted my cross completely different than everyone else did. And um, if you guys want to see uh, mine and my husband's crosses that we painted that day, let me know. I'll go ahead and take a snapshot and show you guys. Or maybe I'll just include it here. We'll see. Okay, I got another wreath form in the um, the green styrofoam um, foam foam board. Oh, I did get some more glass containers. I got this size as well. So. I will find something for those <laughs> for sure. I picked up um, these large glue sticks, which I go through really, really quickly when I'm doing craft projects with florals. I use so many glue sticks. I picked up these pop dot adhesives, little the miniature squares, a few of the stencils as well. Mostly, I think I just got the alphabet ones, a few different alphabet ones because I don't have a Cricut machine or anything. So, um, Stencils always work nice, especially for alphabet, but I picked these kitchen ones up too because I thought they were super duper cute. 
I picked up these stickers. I could not resist. I have more stickers than I could ever use, but these just, they had me. They're 3D stickers and, you know, burger, french fries, sandwich. This is what they look like. They're just really well done. I love the detail on these. A little taco. I mean, how cute are these, you guys? I found some more stickers. These are jewel stickers. I use these for scrapbooks, usually for wedding scrapbooks. And then I also got some of the um, small circular pop dot adhesives. They're fairly thin, which I like as well. Oh, I did get more alphabet stencils. I got this one and this one. Just wanted a little variety, a couple different sizes and um, styles. And then I picked up this uh, stencil of the animals because I thought it was so cute. Then I found something that I've actually been looking for for months that I had found at our Dollar Tree probably about eight months ago, and then I never saw them again. And they are these, um, these little jot stickers, the white with the pearl in the middle. Oh, one fell off, but this is what they look like. Little flowers, white flowers with a pearl in the middle. And then I picked up one of the um, same sticker, but in a butterfly. This has the pearl in the middle. I love these. Here's another. Um, these are just some word stencils. Some really encouraging words on there, which I love. Then I got this little um, artist palette for me or the kids. Just a nice little artist palette. Hold and, you know your painting and I picked up a couple more of the um, just the boards to decorate I just think these are so nice you guys they have the twine hanger on them picked up a couple of the words the wooden words cute and home I know I can find a use for those oh I've oh, got some more uh, glue sticks <laughs> some of the things I'm most excited about in this entire haul and that is these right here these are the chalkboard tags you guys these are such good quality and they've got the twine to um, attach them gosh I mean just I'm blown away by Dollar Tree right now they're plain on the back but they're decent you know heavy duty and like I said they've got the little twine string to attach them and I picked them up in that pattern and then in the hearts as well. I found these magnetic buttons. There's um, 14 pieces of magnets, 14 magnets in here, you guys, all circular, 0.6 inch magnets. I know I can find uses for those. Then uh, chalk writers. They had so many colors there, you guys. I picked up the white, the gold, and the silver. Can you believe it? Oh, this is by Crafters Square. All oh, this stuff is Crafters Square, it's called. Um, and it's it's from Greenbrier, distributed by Dollar Tree. This is a scrap utility knife set. So like a scrapbooking knife set. This has interchangeable uh, knives, knives on there. Um, different style of knives for different projects and needs. And I'm I'll let you guys know again how these how these work, if they work really well or if they're kind of junky. I don't know. I'll let you know, but they look really nice. They I mean they they look to be the same quality as what I have now, so I'm pretty I'm pretty excited. Don't know what I'm gonna do with these wood uh, craft cubes yet. They're small, but they're heavy and they're wooden, and uh, I had to pick them up because I know that I can find a use for these for something definitely. They had a lot of paints. Um, I'll put up you know like I said I'll put up pictures or video for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about um, when I'm referencing these things. But um, Acre. Acreology, is that how you say that? Acreology. Um, premium acrylic paint. I got this in black. That's what I mostly use. I already have white and off-white paints, so I just needed black, so I picked that up. They had a couple of different types there, and um, all was a dollar. There's one that's a little bit bigger than, than these, but uh, I just picked this one up. They're all multi-purpose, safe, and non-toxic, and water-soluble, so winner! Back to some stickers. I found these stick and play sets, um, mix match stick and play sticker activity set. One double sided sticker play scene with reusable stickers. So I found these in like a, a jungle theme. Uh, there is a mermaid theme or a sea theme, and then a like a Barbie Barbie doll type theme. And that's the you know that's the back of it. And this is where you can put the removable stickers. This is the back of the mermaid or the sea one, the ocean. 
And this is the back of the um, the jungle or the safari or I, I look look at it as like Lion King, <laughs> but uh, very cool, you guys. I mean, I mean, these are just really neat. I'm excited. I'll put those in the toy chest for when the kids come. They'll have a ball. Look at these; they're so nice. I found a towel set. Look at it with the black and white buffalo check. Blessed. Oh, and they're nice. They're really nice. And I found the matching pot holder. I'm not sure if I'll keep it or maybe I'll even just put it in a basket for a gift or something. We'll see. But I just love these. I thought these were so pretty. I wanted to um, I wanted to find another set, but I only found the one. So I was pretty excited. Picked up a bunch of different colored napkins. I got the orange and the kind of mustard colored napkins for our coffee bar and I always try to match my napkins I don't know that's just that's just me I picked up a bunch of these leaves two of each of those little clips so you can leave the clips on you can take them off I'll probably more than likely I'll take the clips off and I'll just use them as kind of fillers but I thought they're they're a nice little pop of of glitter in a project but not overwhelming so it, it would be you know keep it kind of more elegant and um, that's more my style typically anyway I picked up these luminescence floating candles they're just a floating candle so I picked up four of those then I just picked up a couple of the um, the smaller um, burlap ribbon rolls from Dollar Tree as well two of the colors the, the dark and the lighter browns and I was super excited to find these burlap leaves. I'm sure you guys have seen these already. I picked up the oak and the maple. And they've got these really nice, um, like, wire stems on them. So you can, you know, you can really attach them to, if you're making a wreath, you can wrap it around. You can attach it to anything. Um, they're really nice. I mean, these are, I, these are another favorite find of mine. I think they're amazing. I think they're really, really going to be going to be great. I picked up a lot of those <laughs> because those will get used a lot in my projects. Then I picked up a couple of each of these pumpkins. I've already used a couple bags of these. I got the large ones and the small ones, just decorative pumpkin picks. Then I found more of these words, um, these metal words. Uh, I found thankful, they have thankful, harvest, and welcome in here. I think they had these last year too. They're just a, a silver metal. We have harvest and we have thankful and we have welcome. I picked up some DIY stickers. These are the pumpkins, some orange and some uh, kind of the raw wood and then others are a glittery orange. I picked up two of these with the maple leaves and the pumpkins because I think they're just adorable. Then I also picked up these uh, color your own ornaments. These are also from Crafters Square. These are in the shape of um, maple leaves. But come on, you, I mean, I'm going to open one and show you guys. They're substantial, you know. Um, you get four of them in here for a dollar. Uh, these two come with the twine for attaching. And I think last but not least, I have a few things of candy to show you guys for our hot cocoa bar. I picked up some Reese's Miniature Cups. Reese's um, Miniature Peanut Butter Cups and I always try to find the ones that are individually wrapped since they are for the uh, the hot cocoa bar. I also picked up these uh, Tootsie Roll Pops and these will also go um, in with the uh, hot cocoa and coffee bar decor. Alright you guys, that completes this haul. That's everything for this uh, fall Dollar Tree haul. Thank you so much for joining me. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and uh, subscribe if you're not already. would love to have you guys as